County of Queens. And as many of you know, uh, Queens, well, first of all, I want to say thank you because so many of you were so supportive of me when I ran for district attorney. And I know that made a huge difference in the election. But more importantly, it gave me great pride to know that the Muslim community was behind me, that you had faith in me in a country that at times is difficult for you, that you still had faith in the leadership that I would bring to this office, that if someone attacked the community, you knew that I would hold them accountable for that attack, that I would work hard to make sure that your children don't end up in the criminal justice system, as well as equity if they're in it. And that is what I've tried to bring to the district attorney's office. We are working every single day to hold those accountable who are drivers of crime. Those individuals that would buy guns in Alabama and Virginia and would drive them up the highways on the East Coast and come here to the borough of Queens County to sell those weapons to our children here in the county. We hold those individuals accountable every single day. We break up those gun rings. But at the same time, at the same time, because in the newspapers today, you hear it, right? You either have to be on one side or the other. It seems like in today's time, a steady hand is never out there. I try to bring a steady hand to the district attorney's office. While I am prosecuting those that are drivers of crimes, those that would walk down the streets shooting people, those that would buy weapons to be utilized in other criminal activity, those that would use gangs in order to take cameras, we have a community partnership division as well. I go out to the community all the time. I go to mentorship programs. I go to cure violence groups, mental health clinics. I go to youth groups, and why do I do that? Why do I go to basketball games and food giveaways where the kids of this borough can see me? I do that because the first time you see a district attorney should not be when they're coming to get you. The first time a young person sees a district attorney is when I am trying to keep them out of the criminal justice system to begin with. Because that's how you make this borough the safest you possibly can. But it is also my job to make sure that we hold people accountable for criminal activity against those who would target you because of your religion or your dress or your language or the, the, who you choose to worship or the countries that you're from. And when that has happened in Queens County, my office has held individuals accountable for that. We are a county that is uh, has residents who are born 50% outside the United States of America. Think of that. In the borough of Queens County, 50% of the people who chose, and many of you in this room, chose to make Queens County your home, were born outside the United States of America. What pressure is that on government officials to make sure that you get the American dream? And I believe that because you've chosen our borough, because you've trusted your families to our borough, because you have put faith in my administration that my bar is even higher to make sure I do all I can so that everyone in this room can serve and can pray in freedom, can dress in freedom, can speak the languages that you choose to speak in freedom, and most importantly, to simply raise your families and earn a living right here in Queens County. So I thank you for putting that faith in me, Imam. I thank you for allowing me a few minutes of the time, this precious time of prayers. And thank you to the Masjid also for the food giveaway. You know, the last two years of COVID, a year and a half of COVID, has been enormously uh, uh, stressful for so many families. There has been food deprivation all around the city of New York and all over the country. And for this Masjid to do what they are doing to make sure that families are eating, to make sure that they are putting the resources where they belong. No one should worry about the next food is coming. No one should. And unfortunately, many do. So thank you for the work that you're doing on behalf of Queens County. Thank you. Thank you so much.